Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. After seeing my previous video on my oil pastel collection, a lot of people asked me how big a collection they need to have in order to make good art. My short answer is that you don't need a fancy expensive color set to make good art. In this video, I'm going to show you how many different shades of color you can make just by mixing six basic colors. And I will show you this using oil pastels, watercolors and color pencils. The six main colors I'm picking from all mediums are blue, red, yellow, green, purple and orange. The reason why I selected these colors is because they are generally the six colors you get in most six color boxes that I've looked and I checked in several brands. So let's start with oil pastels. The first row is for the main colors and the color mixes will be done from the second row onwards. This way you can compare the difference between the main color and the color mixes and I'm giving a number to each main color. For example, blue is 1, red is 2, yellow is 3 and so on. The first swatch is a mix of blue and red. That's why I have put 1 slash 2 in that square. The second swatch is blue and yellow, then blue and green, blue and purple and so on. This way you will know later which color combination was mixed in that swatch. Also I am blending only two colors in each swatch and I am applying more or less the same amount from each color. So these are like 50-50 swatches of two color combinations. Alright, let's get started. As you can see I made 15 different shades of color from the initial 6 colors that I selected but as I said before these are 50-50 swatches of just 2 colors. Uh, you can always blend more than 2 colors together to make more color shades. Also you can apply different amounts from each color to make even more color combinations. So I guess you get the idea just how many different colors you can mix with 6 initial colors. Let's do the same thing using watercolors. Now that you know what I'm doing here, I'll fast forward the video. So here are the results. Once again you get 15 unique colors by doing a 50-50 mix of two different colors. Let me show you the same thing again using color pencils. I'll be using a water brush to blend the colors together. This is how the results look. Once again, you get 15 different shades of color. Here are the three color sheets that we just created using three different mediums. We've created so many different and unique colors with such a small amount of initial colors. So the question is, why do we buy these big sets of color that are sometimes ridiculously expensive? And the most common reason is convenience. If you have different shades of color already in your palette, you can just pull them out and paint with them. You don't have to spend time and effort to mix and blend colors. Also sometimes it's really hard to mix the most accurate color shade if you start with the basics. You definitely need to have some knowledge of color theory and color mixing. It's so much easier and much more convenient if you have that color ready made for you. So that's the reason why artists tend to buy all these huge boxes of colors but 
you don't really need to have that kind of art supply to be able to do good paintings all right so that's about it with this video i upload videos with different art content every week so if that's something you're interested in please do subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos that i post every week thanks for watching this and i'll see you next time bye bye